Now it's a pleasure to bring to the microphone uh, uh, my homeboy uh, from Las Vegas who came here with the uh, uh, WBA Junior Welterweight title and after a scintillating performance in a terrifically competitive fight brings the title back to Las Vegas. He's here with his first time trainer who really I told him did a great job in uh, adjusting uh, Jesse's style. So please welcome Jesse Vargas and Roy Jones. Thank you, Mr. Arrow, first of all. My, my, my homeboy, Mr. Arrow, I want to thank him for the opportunity. I'm, I'm hoping that he enjoyed the fight, and I'm hoping that everyone here enjoyed it as well. I worked very hard for it. And first, I mean, most, first of all, I want to thank my team. Roy Jones, he, he took me to another level. I'm very thankful that he invested the time in me as a fighter to help me improve, and that we have in such a short amount of time. So I'm very excited for what's to come in the future. I'm very thankful for my cut man uh, and, and another team member, Mr. Russ Amber. He did a great job. He was a big part of, of, of this victory. You know, he, he took care of the cut that happened in, early, in the early fight. You know, in the second round, I believe it happened. And he took care of it. I want to thank my father, David, David Levy, top rank, my manager, Cameron Duncan, for the opportunity. Uh, I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful we came in here very well prepared. I want to thank also Memo Heredia. He did a great job. As you can see, I finished strong at the end, which I believe I improved on. As, as uh, fights in the past, I would tire out a bit. So we continue to improve. We continue to improve, and, and, and that's the base that we want. That's the base that we, we want to continue to, to improve on and, and continue to give you better and, and bigger fights. Now, with that being said, I believe we stole, the, stole <laughs> our fight stole, stole the night. You know, we, we gave a show just as we had planned. You know, it's, it's just to be expected when you see a, a fight from Jesse Vargas. And now I'm, I'm looking forward to bigger and better opportunities. I look forward to a, a fight with Manny Pacquiao. I'm the WBA champion. I hear he wants to come down to 140. You know, let's make it happen. You want this title? I can go up and take your title as well. You know, he, uh, I still have a grudge, to be honest. Ever since I was a kid when he beat Morales, Barrera, you know, they were the older Lions. And Manny Pacquiao was the younger, more hungry fighter at that moment. But now it's me. Now it's Jesse Vargas that's hungry, looking for his opportunity. You know, and, and I, look for, I look forward to getting it. I have a great team that, will, that I'm positive and I believe in that they can take me to the next level and to come into the next fight and be able to beat Manny Pacquiao and give you a show doing it. You know, I'm not going to run. I never have. I always came here to give you a great fight. That's always been the purpose of my game. And, and you, you won't, if that fight happens, you won't see, a, you won't see me running around. We're gonna see, you're going to see a war. I will sit there and trade with Manny Pacquiao. Like I said, you know, this is like a, a pack of lions. I'm the younger lion coming in, getting ready to take him out. You know what I mean? Get out of my pride. You know what I mean? This is my time. And I look forward to getting the opportunity. But thank you, thank you all for, for coming. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Mr. Barbaran, once again. And I will see you soon. Uh, thank you, Macau. You've treated us with, with so much respect and, and so much humility. You know, it, it was really a pleasure being here being part of this event here. I mean, it was, it was something very special for me, just the way the fans acted towards the fighters here. Uh, you know, I was, I was very happy with it. So I hope to be back, but I hope that the next fight will be, uh, will be also in, uh, in my hometown against you know who. One more thing, Mr. Freddie Roach, I have a lot of respect for him. He's a great trainer, but he did say Antonio DeMarco was gonna knock me out he did not knock me out. I came out victorious in a great fight. Now I have beat four of his fighters, four of his fighters in a row, two undefeated, three southpaws. So now give me the top dog. Give me your top dog. I, I give you that challenge. Give them to me. You know, and, and, and let's give the fans what they want to see, which is action-packed fights. Thank you very much. Mr. Roy, uh, my trainer, Roy Jones, will be back. All right, all right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, first, I want to thank God for blessing us with a wonderful opportunity tonight, for giving us the opportunity to come out victorious, for letting Jesse go out and shine the way he did. 
I thought Antonio DeMarco fought a hell of a fight. I thought it was, to me, uh, on paper, and it turned out to be on campus, the best fight of the night. And I think uh, those guys deserve a big hand for the effort that they gave the fans because they went out, they left it all out there in the ring, and you couldn't ask for a better situation than that. I want to thank Macau for treating us with the uh, great hospitality that they did. They, uh, we enjoyed ourselves here the whole time. It was a wonderful experience. I want to thank Mr. Aaron for bringing us in, for all the wonderful things he said about us, and uh, we look forward to working with him more in the future. And once again, thank you all for having us. Hey, Bob, I got a couple questions. Roy, uh, you heard uh, Jesse say that he wants to fight Manny, so you were sitting there ringside to watch Manny. How do you think Jesse would uh, match up if that fight were to be made? Well, of course, it's like anybody else, we're all competitors, and we all want to compete at the highest level that we possibly can. He wants to be the best fighter at the 140-pound division. Manny right now is the best fighter if he comes down at the 140 uh, uh, division. So that would be a wonderful fight. It would be a hell of a fight because our fight plan, like he just said tonight, never is to back up and give all that much ground. So you won't see us running from nobody. You won't see us trying to avoid the big punches. You will see us in there trying to make sure we land more big punches than does he. Don't get it twisted. Manny Pacquiao is Manny Pacquiao, but to be the best, you got to want to fight the best. And that's what the kid just said. And Bob, do you, uh, I know you want to make another fight, not, not this fight, but if, if that other fight can't be made, is Jesse in the running? Well, I know Manny would like to fight uh, against residents of Las Vegas. He has another resident in mind first. That's his primary goal. Uh, if that doesn't materialize, why wouldn't Jesse uh, be a top candidate in the running? I mean, particularly off his performance uh, today. Uh, and remember, this was the first opportunity that Roy had to work with him. And I think, to be honest about it, uh, when we contrast his style in his previous fights with his performance uh, this morning, uh, it's like day and night. I mean, today he looked to me like a real dangerous uh, welterweight uh, in there. And so he figures with Manny Pacquiao or anybody else. And uh, Jesse, if I can ask you one uh, final question. You alluded to the fact that Chris used a lot of movement in the fight. Do you feel like uh, your style would be more effective against Manny because you're going to make Manny fight? Because that would seem to be play into Manny's hands when, he, when he, you fight him. If a guy's running away, it makes it more difficult for him. So how do you see your style matching up with Manny's? Well... I feel that Manny Pekka now has more respect for his opponent when they sit down on their punches. You know, after uh, certain experiences that he's had recently, I think he's more cautious. And if you catch him well, he'll, he'll think twice or three times about coming in. And that's, that's what I would, uh, well, I would have to talk with my trainer, Roy Jones Jr., see what type of plan he wants to, he wants to, uh, game plan he wants to perform. But that's what I see right now just from looking at this fight. You know, he, he hesitates with, with fighters that sit down on their punches. And also, you, you know, there's something to be said. I mean, Jesse says he has the jinx on Freddie Roach. He beats all Roach-trained fighters. So what the hell? I mean, uh, we know who uh, Freddie's uh, top fighter is that he trains. So who knows? Thank you. Now it's a great pleasure to bring up here uh, a young man who we all have heard of through his great amateur career. But today, I think he demonstrated uh, why he is someone special. He put on a true clinic in his fight today, uh, was unable to finish the fight by knockout because he injured his left hand but I saw moves today that he made in that fight that I have never seen before in all the years that I've watched boxing. Uh, we have years and years ahead of us to watch uh, this young man perform because he performs on the top level. And so it's a pleasure to bring up here the WBO featherweight champion of the world, Vasil Lomachenko.
Thank you, Bob. Хотел сказать огромное спасибо своей команде за то, что подготовили меня к этому бою. Огромное спасибо сказать своей маме и сестре, они приехали поддержать. Кстати, я заметил одну такую интересную вещь, когда они присутствуют у меня на боях, у меня всегда выдаются красочные бои. Uh, thank you to everybody here. I would like to thank uh, to my team helping me to prepare for this bout. I would like to thank to my mom and my sister who participated in uh, audience at this time. And I noticed that they are here. Every time my mom and my sister comes to the bouts, I can fight better. Спасибо огромное моим друзьям, которые приехали меня поддержать. Мне очень приятно. Я старался демонстрировать красивый бокс для всех своих фанатов. Огромное спасибо с моей стране, Украине, моему городу Акерман, моему отцу, тренеру, моей семье, жене, детям. Спасибо огромное всем. I just wanted to thank to everybody. I wanted to thank to my friends who came out from Ukraine. I wanted to uh, thank my country, Ukraine. I wanted to thank my, all my fans and thank you to everybody. Is the hand confirmed as, as broken and can you tell us how it happened? Yeah, when I hit him with a powerful blow, I and that, I was Но я попал, видно, в твердую часть лба, наверное, головы. И после этого, когда еще пару раз ударил, я понял, что больше я и бить уже, наверное, в этом бою не буду. He's already kind of start mumbling, his, his legs are mumbling, and uh, then I jump in it and throw more punches. And I felt where I hit him somewhere in a hard part of his body. And I tried to hit a couple more times, but I already understood I cannot hit no more with my left hand. It's not broken. No, it's not a broken. We took, yeah, no, we took an x-ray. We went and took an x-ray, and x-ray shows it's not broken. But it just, like, swallowed a little bit. Thank you so much. What the plan moving forward, I know Bob has talked about maybe another fight before you fight Walters. Is that okay with you, or do you want Walters immediately? Я не хочу делать сейчас громкие заявления и на горячую голову все это говорить. Я чуть остыну, приеду домой, побуду с семьей, с детьми и отдохну, и после этого я приму решение на свежую трезвую голову. I wouldn't like to make right now some kind of like a plans what we're gonna do and what's next. So I'm just gonna right now still a little bit uh, cool down, go home, enjoy my time with my family. And then we'll, uh, with a promoter, we're going to decide what we're, where we're going next. Any other questions? Yeah, John Denon from Boxing News. Basil, was your opponent tonight tougher than you expected, or was it the hand that was the problem? Я не хочу ничего сказать плохого про него, и опять же не хочу там возвышать, какой я красавец. Но до боя я как бы говорил, что его 50 боев не отражает мастерство, которое у него есть. Поэтому каждый боксирует так, как позволяет ему соперник. Сегодня мне понравилось, как я провел бой, я думаю, многим понравилось. Но я не считаю, что там, это все зависело от меня. Мне позволил сделать это соперник. Uh, I don't want to say nothing bad about the opponent, and I don't want to say how good I am or to say, you know, how great I am. Uh, I just, like I was saying before the fight, he has 50 win victories. Uh, it's a build-up record, and uh, he never faced uh, anybody like big fighters, and uh, that's, that's everybody fights and box the way his opponent led him to do it. The way I perform today, I liked it, but probably I can be better, but it's, it's, right now it's, it is what it is. Hi. Hello, everyone. 
很高兴今天又一次胜利结束这次比赛，而且我也在这一次比赛中打满了十二回合，呃，也感谢 Bob 的 Top Run and w i n n i e s o n 然后给我这次机会在这里和大家在这里比赛，最后在这里与大家见面。我想告诉一下大家，今天我。参加比赛的心情非常激动，我的对手很强，但是我通过很艰苦的训练，让自己变得不弱，所以说今天我很庆幸，很荣幸战胜了一个很强的对手。Um, first of all, I'm happy to end the、um, end today's fight with another victory.、Uh, the significance of that is also we win、uh, full twelve rounds. Uh, it shows hard training. The, um, uh, my um, stamina and through the hard training that gives me that ability. Um, I'm really.、Uh, hopefully, I will.、Um, you can see me. I'm getting stronger and stronger, and I want to show you、uh, more of social media. Okay. Now, today. Okay. Today, I. 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 呃，这无疑会对下一次比赛会有一个很好的积淀。我很感谢 Bob 和 Tracy 和 w i n s 然后给我这次机会，让我参加这次比赛，有有了进一步的提高。OK。I've also learned a lot from today's experience.、Um, I got the full mileage of today's fight. Hopefully, I can use that in the future fights. I'd like to thank.、Um, Top rank Bob Aaron and Mr. Edward Tracy from Venetian to give me this opportunity. Okay. Uh, Mr. Ming, first, congratulations on your victory. Thank you. Uh, you today in this 12-round fight, you feel in which of the fights you can get the opponent to get you? The second question is. 呃，对于你下一场的比赛，你还需要在这一段时间里，呃，有哪些提高？谢谢。谢谢，我我很高兴，我在呃对手气势最旺的第二回合我，我呃呃击倒了他两次，然后但是作为一开始我以前有过击倒对手的这样的机会，呃有这样的经历，但是我表现得非常急。啊！但这一次我又把它稳下来，然后有更好的去寻找更好的机会。呃，今天很高兴能够打满十二回合，而且在在中途我也有很多值得我去提高和去提醒自己的，比如说今天被对手撞撞了一下，然后也导致眼睛有点肿，所以说这以后也是想要想办法去避免，尽量的让对手呃不要去撞到或者拿走肩去击呃去碰。就伤害到自己，呃，但在下一阶段中，我依然会跟 f r i d a y 然后跟我的体能师在体能上面再去加强，呃，你保证更更多强度的这样的一种打法，再加上技术上面和经验上面，我还是需要 f r i d a y 给我更多的指点。呃、uh, ，just quickly， 呃、uh, ，to summarize the question， the questions are two parts， one is，、um In which round did Shi Ming feel that he had the best chance to knock his opponent out? And the second question was,、uh, what、um, in, what he needs to improve for his next、uh, next fight?、Uh, Shi Ming felt that in the second round he he had a couple of chance.、Uh, he knocked his opponent down a couple of times, and、um, throughout the fight he had a few chances to to capitalize and get a KO.、Um, but he, he also had the experience in the past of knocking out his opponent. But he felt in the past he was rushing things a little bit too much. So today he took a little bit of、um, uh, patience. And、uh, but he also learned from today that the、um, you know how to protect himself better. Like today the head bobs gives him the、uh, swollen and the stitches.、Um, for the next for the next fight he is、uh, looking forward to go back to the training camp with、uh, Freddie and、uh, and the conditional coach Gavin to. To basically to、um, to get more、uh, more power and work on his、um, condition、uh, a lot more. Thank you. Yes. So、um, congratulations. So、um, 
Thank you. Uh, you win today. So what do you think about your win? And also you are getting best up in the match. So what do you think is the key to make this win? Thank you. Sorry, I was uh, distracted. <laughs> my, my apologies. Can you repeat that question again? Yes, OK. So uh, you win today. So what do you think about your win? And also you are getting best up in the match. So what do you think is the key factor to make this win? Thank you. 啊，你今天赢了，你觉得你对这个赢的这个看法是什么？然后今天是什么能够帮助你这个呃这个赢了？然后，哦，很高兴今天的赢，也他是一个非常强劲的对手，而且他没有败没有失败过，所以说，而且他每有很多次都是靠击打呃击倒对手，然后取得胜利。对我来说的话，也是一个很大的挑战。Um, I'm happy to uh, to get a win today because the opponent is really strong. He's um, he's undefeated, and um, he, um, uh, he, many of his victory came uh, by the way of knockout. So it was a it was a good challenge today. Today, I'm also very thankful for Freddy for setting the record. Then, uh, let him have a little bit of fun. Then, but I didn't let him have too much to put on my face. Uh, and also, I, I um, thank Freddy for the game plan. Although our, uh, the opponent is pretty strong and he's um, pretty powerful, but we didn't give him too much chance to to utilize that power. So, so today, uh, although we won the last two matches, we also made some improvements on the career path on the job field. So, actually, I, I benefit a lot. Um, and um, from finishing the, uh, to go the full distance of 12 rounds, it helps me and my development as, as a pro boxer. I just want to say, you know, we were planning for uh, uh, Shiming's next fight to be here on February 14th, but due to the uh, uh, cut uh, above the eye, uh, we're going to have it medically evaluated, and uh, the uh, Venetian Macau accommodating as always uh, said not to rush. Uh, they'll give us another date uh, in March or even April uh, to do Shiming's next fight. Uh, we want to make sure uh, that the eye heals and he has a proper training camp with Freddy. Um, because we know we were planning on the next fight in the next fight. 但是因为今天这个这个眼睛上面的这个这个肿胀和这个缝的针，所以呢，我们现在啊、呃、需要这个从医疗上做一个充分的这个评估。呃，威尼斯人也是非常的呃非常的支持我们，然后希望啊、呃、也同意给我们考虑这个时间，在三月份和四月份里面呃考虑其他的这些时间，所以我们会非常认真的做一些这个评估。以确保一个是眼睛能够完全恢复，另外一个呢，能够给他足够的时间恢复好了以后，呃，进一个很好的一个训练营来为下一场比赛做准备。Thank you. 因为我们大家知道，嗯。明年在中国还有权力巅峰的比赛，那也有可能这个商商会的时间会调整，也可能把明年在澳门金光综艺馆的推到三到四月份，有可能我们会把那个权力巅峰的下一场，呃，第三场放在这个二月份。Okay. Any other questions? Got to use the microphone. Uh, I which city you being considered for in for Mingna? Well, that's uh, a call that uh, my friends at Seika make. Uh, Shang Li is the uh, guy who is guiding us, uh, and we're partners with uh, his company in China, and they will let us know which city uh, we're going to do the fight in. Uh, 我想问一下市民 um, 
你对不起，你说下一场对谁？呃，就是之后会打帕会奥嘛，那个金耀打谁？帕帕菲尔，帕菲尔。不，他们不是一个级别的的，是。Um, so the question was, um, how would you rate your performance today? OK， 今天表现，我觉得总体的还是打出了呃制定的战术，而且这段时间呃也非常的辛苦，然后我觉得今天也是证明了我们前段时间的一个训练成果的一个最好呃最一个很好的表现。嗯、啊，如果要一定要在今天打一个分的话，我希望。Yeah, I was pretty happy with my performance today. If I have to rate my performance today, I will give an eight out of ten because there's always room to improve. But but I wasn't happy, Shiming, because every time you knocked your opponent down, I damn near died because it looked like Pacquiao was getting knocked down. 他说他每次今天不是特别开心，因为每一次他把他的对手打倒的话，他都看上去，因为那个他对手长得很像帕奎奥嘛，就像帕奎奥被打倒一样。喂，呃，师妹，祝贺你今天取得胜利谢谢。然后今天其实是你第一次打十二回合，你能够具体的阐述一下这个战术是怎样的吗？包括体力怎么分配？然后就是我看你比赛当中有许多脚步的动作，这个是怎样的考虑呢？谢谢。什么动作？脚。哦，脚步动作。对。对，然后因为，呃，在一一年的一年多的 Friday f r i d a 的拳馆里面，我一直在钻研的怎么样从一个奥运会选手的打法，然后转变成职业的打法。呃，在转变的同时，然后吃了不少苦头，而且因为十多年的记忆，一定要有一段的时间来沉淀。呃，但是是从，但是我呃，白迪也很欣很欣赏我的移动啊，我的步伐呀、啊，我的速度，我的呃反击，我的灵敏。所以说在，在在呃打下一个基础的时候，我现在也想和我之前的一些风格有一定的结合，然后把我以前的东西也融入到我的风格里面去。So Shimin said, um, um, he was um, in the last two years, one more than a little bit, more than one. One year, he has been working with uh, Freddy, trying to change uh, his um, the way he fights to be more professional, from the Olympic style to more of a, from the amateur style to more of a pro style. Um, but this time, he's trying to. But also, Freddy has um, has hard remarks for Shiming's footwork and his uh, ability to move uh, inside the ring. So Shiming, what he's trying to do now is trying to merge. What he has accumulated over the years, his um, his uh, footwork, his ability to move inside the ring, uh, to combine that with the the power he acquired through um, from through Freddie's training. Uh, today is my first time fighting in in the use of the ring, maybe in the strategy, but in the use of the ring, there are some tricks. I hope that through this first time fighting, I will add a lot of experience and experience. Next time, I believe. Because today was my first twelve rounder, so although we had a game plan, but um, in terms of the delivering against the game plan, there's still a lot of uh, things he needs to learn, and this is a great experience. Uh, he got a great knowledge out of today's fight. Hopefully, he can use that and and to help with his future fights. Uh, Shiming, you're right. I have I have two questions. 一个问题是想问一下那个 Bob， 就是今天在现场主持人说的是，这场比赛不是强制挑战权，而是呃卫冕国际金腰带，这个是发生了什么改变？呃，第二个问题是问市民的，就是你真的是确定要挑战 WBO 的金腰带吗？你对那个对现在的金腰带持有者艾斯特拉达做好准备了吗？你有信心吗？谢谢。Okay. Bob, the first question is for you. Uh, today, the announcer mentioned that today's fight, um, instead of a WBO eliminator, I think he, um, um, he said that it's, uh, um, it's um, a defense of the WBO international belt. 
So is it no longer an uh, eliminator? Um, it is an eliminator. His next fight will be a world title fight. And we'll give you the details when we determine when he'll be ready uh, to challenge for the title. 呃，今天那个确认一下，就是今天这个确实是可能是口误的原因，这个是一场这个强制挑战权的，所以市民的下一场的比赛是金腰带的，应该基本上可以肯定是一个金腰带的比赛。我们正在呃这个全面的考量，呃，来决定他下一场是打哪个组织的哪一条金腰带。好的，那我那我觉得这个呃问题，那个 Bob 也呃帮我回答了，因为下一场比赛肯定是要作为一个挑战。金腰带的，这最至于至于打哪个级别，打哪个组织，还是要最后看鲍勃和我的经纪公司最后商定。谢谢。我，就就说鲍勃已经回答这个问题了。Yeah, the the second question is, is he going to the next title? Would that be for the WBO title? And the Bob, I think, already answered that. We're evaluating and see what will be the next title. Okay. Round of applause. Thank you. No shaming. Firstly, on behalf of all of us with Chris Algieri, I want to thank everybody. It was a phenomenal promotion from the very beginning and uh, an excellent fight. You know, Chris Algieri deserves all of the credit I'm about to give him, and I'm going to say that as his promoter, I'm extremely proud that we had an individual who had no amateur background and with 20 fights decided to take on the biggest challenges in the sport, Ruslan Provodnikov, and then probably one of the greatest fighters that ever lived, Manny Pacquiao. Uh, so, first, I want to say that 今天非常高兴，这次的活动非常的成功。啊、呃，我想说，呃，一个很重要的一点是 ，Chris a l g e r i 啊，他非常值得在呃澳门所获得的所有。啊、呃，过去呢，他曾经创造过二十场不败的战绩。那目前呢，今天他可能是碰到了他人生中职业生涯上最大的挑战。啊、呃，其实面对 Manny Pacquiao， 可能是目前全世界最好的拳击手。Not only has Chris shown that he has what we've all said he had, and that's tremendous heart, determination, and character in this fight, but now he's going to be able to get the experience that he got through this fight and move forward and become a much better fighter in his career. 除了在今天有这个机会能够对战世界上最成功的拳王之外呢。今天 Chris 在这次比赛之中也积累到了大量的经验，所以现在是对他而言是一个如何准备进行下一次挑战的时刻。And it's no, or actually, it's a great honor if you're going to fight a fight and not come out the winner that you're doing it against the top fighter in the sport, and it's always great. When you choose to climb the highest mountains. Uh, 大家今天看到在最后一场比赛之中，对他对 Chris 来说，他非常有幸能够面临面对在这项运动之中最成功的运动员。同时呢，这也是他一个人生之间巅峰的挑战。This point in time, I want to introduce to you the man who、um, is your junior welterweight champion. And has always shown the grit, determination, and heart in fighting the best and in prevailing during those fights, not to go down, to fight the best he can. And now he'll join Manny Pacquiao, join Ray Robinson, join Muhammad Ali, and all the other greats that have losses on their record, and then come back and do tremendous and great things. Chris Algieri. 现在让我介绍一下啊，今天能够对阵世界上最好的拳王，同时也尽了自己最大的努力进行比赛。然后他现在可以像拳王阿里，像呃 Manny Pacquiao 一样，呃，虽然在他的职业生生生涯上添加了一个
呃失败的战绩，但是现在我们介绍 Chris a l g e r y First of all, thank you, Bob, for the introduction, and Joe, thank you as well. Thank all of you for being here right now. Um, you know, this is this is now not exactly how I expected to be up here. Um, I I expected to be 21 or no at this point. <clears throat> I'm very disappointed. But this is boxing. Um, Manny Pacquiao is a great champion. Um, I said prior that it was an honor to to share a ring with him, and I still feel that way. The man is, um, you know, he he is exactly what what he's billed as. He's he's a great champion. He's an all-time great, and he's one of the best fighters of an era. You know, I was, um, you know, I'm going to take this, as as Joe said, as a learning experience, to uh, pursue my own career and, and and to get better, and to. Um, you know, to, to, to have something to, to look forward to and to, and to reach out for. You know, um, it's, uh, it's been a great year. It's been a great road. And um, I'm really looking forward to what 2015 is holding. It you know, has a head for me. But, um, you know, I'm going to take the rest of this year and, and, uh, and spend some time with my family for the holidays and just gather my wits and get back to the drawing board and get back out there and make, a, make, a, make another run. Thank you all. I appreciate the time and the opportunity. Uh, it's been a great time here at the Venetian Macau and, and um, being on this promotion. So uh, thank you all very much.那就像舅刚才说的一样，对我而言，这是一个职业生涯的一个累积和学习。那下一步而言的话，就是我应该思考和准备如何进行下一步的职业生涯的挑战。今年非常棒啊，所以在今年剩下的时间，我会带上我的
Uh, thank you so much for everything of uh, the prayers, you know, the cheering, and also to 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 my family, of course, my wife Jinky, uh, my my father, my mother, my brothers are they are here to support my fight. So I'm so happy and very inspired before the fight because of uh, all our support of my fans and my family. Thank you and um, God bless you all. 下午好，今天是一个美妙的一天啊！感谢今天在场的所有粉丝，感谢今天在场的所有媒体和我们的朋友们，感谢你们今天对我带来的所有的支持。我也感谢我的家庭，我今天的父母、我的兄弟姐妹们都在现场。今天是我们打了一场安全的比赛啊，对我而言是非常鼓舞我。然后祝愿主保佑各位。Any questions now for either Finer or anybody up on the day? Questions、uh, for Chris?、Uh, was it just the the pressure from Manny that caused you not to be able to throw your jab with the authority that you normally do?、Um, no, you know, Manny utilized a great game plan.、Um, he's he. You know, it was、um, very difficult to keep、um, on track. You know, every time I felt like I had him in the in the right place, he would adjust.、Um, his ability to adjust and readjust throughout the fight was,、um, you know, was was very impressive. And、um, you know, he, he's he's a great fighter, and and his his experience really showed. And you know,、um, it was difficult, like I said, to 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 get much steam going、um, as he kept readjusting. Hey Chris, Chris. Yes.、Hey. Did you feel、um, overwhelmed at all by the moment of, of the magnitude of this?、Event? No, I actually, I actually felt the right、um, in terms of, of you know the magnitude of the of the event and、um, the crowd and and、um, you know I don't think it was that I don't think that I was taken aback by the moment.、Um, I just I don't want to take anything away from Manny Pacquiao. I I, I give it to him and and his skill set and、um, and what he brought to to the fight tonight. Manny, did you feel like it's been 2009 since the knockout, and you've heard, you've heard a lot of things about that? But did you feel like tonight you had that thirst for the knockout, like you haven't had in a long time? Yes, my uh, our uh, our focus is to、uh, to try to finish the fight early, but we know that、uh, Algeri is um he's、uh, he's very tough、uh, opponent and. Even his、uh, last fight with、uh, Ruslan, he, he showed his toughness, and the same tonight.、Um, but、uh, I did, I did my best. You know, I mean,、uh, I dropped him down、uh, many times, six times, and he still、uh, keep on fighting because of of the top of、uh, toughness as a boxer. Do you do you think your performance tonight has has brought back the talk about a Mayweather fight? To the level that you wanted it, and where it was a few years ago. Is he going to fight me? <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, you know,、uh, for that fight, that it's good thing that we 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 talk about that fight. You know, I think for me, to all the fans, the fans will deserve that fight. That's the that's the the. The good statement, the fans is really deserve that fight, to see that fight, and I think it's time to you know to um, uh, uh, step up and、uh, say yes to nothing to I mean people can prepare for the next next earlier next year. <laughs> And, and Lance, Lance, you talk about knockouts. Manny uh, had uh, five knockdowns tonight.、Uh, five or six was it six? Six knockdowns tonight.、Uh, that's、uh, twice the number of knockdowns that Floyd Mayweather has had in the last 12 years. A qu question for、uh, for Chris. First of all,、um, did he down here, Chris? Down here in the front. Yep, yep.、Um, the general consensus is that people are a little bit critical of your performance. I'm not taking anything away from the fact that you've got just gone 12 rounds with a great champion. But、um, if you could 
relive the fight again, would you prefer to go out on your sword more than people talking about the fact maybe you ran too much in the fight? Um, I haven't seen the fight. I'm not sure exactly how it looked or, or how it was. Um, you know, we wanted to be cautious early because um, we figured Manny was going to come out strong, and, and, and he did. Um, and then we started to pick it up in the middle rounds. And, um, you know, and then uh, I think it was about round eight, we were really starting to pick it up, and I got caught with a good shot and um, had to readjust again and, and, and look to um, keep fighting and, and, you know, look for the counter shots as they were coming. You know, once it was late in the fight, it, um, you know, the scores were, were pretty wide at that point, and I was just trying to look for, um, you know, some, some good opportunities at that point, but uh, Manny didn't give me a lot of holes. He didn't, he didn't, he was not reckless. He was very smart in his, in his approach and his attack, so um, he really didn't leave me much um, to take advantage of those, in, in, you know, in those, in those situations. And, and in the ninth round, um, a question for you and your corner, really. Um, how, how hurt were you in that ninth round? And, and also to Tim, you know, uh, obviously we saw you there. You were at the corner kind of urging your man on. Was there any point in the ninth round where you considered throwing in the towel or stepping in and pulling your man out of the contest? Uh, no, there was, there, there was no time where I would ever throw the towel in. Uh, I, I, the, the ref was doing his job. I, I saw Chris. Chris was hurt, but uh, he was also coming back. I know how strong he is. Uh, and, you know, I, I know how big his heart is. Uh, it, it wasn't to that point yet, but, um, you know, we got through it. Thank you. Chris, over, over here. Uh, to your right, a little bit. There you go. Hey, George. Uh, you slipped in, the, in Pacquiao's corner. It was called a, a, a knockdown. Did that throw you off your game at all? And what did you think about those rulings? Yeah, um, at least two of those were slips, but um, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, that, that happens in, in fights, and you got to really just um, you know, you know, pick yourself up and, and, and get right back to work. Uh, dwelling on something like that mid-fight is, is dangerous for myself, so I really just tried to put it in the back of my mind and get back to work. Um, I don't think it really affected me, to tell you the truth. Um, you know, I, I was upset at the moment, but like I said, I had to put that in the rear view and, 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 and deal with uh, what was in front of me. Chris, uh, as a Filipino and a, and a New Yorker like you, I commend your fighting spirit. Um, I have a question. Will you stay in the welterweight uh, division now that you've uh, tasted uh, um, uh, uh, the, the ring with Manny, or will you go back to the 140-pound division and probably reclaim your belt? What's that? Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to go back to the you know, uh, drawing board, talk to my people. Um, I could have made 140 for this fight. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's not an issue of, of, of where, um, you know, I, I have to go, but, um, that, you know, that's an option. I can go in either, in either weight class. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, um, you know, the size of the power, you know, was, was the problem. It's just, you know, I was fighting Manny Pacquiao. It wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't a weight thing. It's, um, you know, it, it, it is what it is. But I can, I can contest that either, either weight class, and um, I'll, I'll talk to my team. And we'll figure out the best the best um, route for 2015. I have a question over here. Can you have a microphone over here? Uh, Chris, uh, obviously you were very very confident uh, coming into the fight. Mm -hmm. So as the fight is progressing, uh, you know what concerns did you have when you realized that it wasn't going the way you wanted it and. How confusing uh, was it to try to execute your game plan? Um, I don't think it was confusion. Um, you know, it's just uh, it, trying to, you know, establish the game plan. You know, that we were, it was, it was going well early. You know, I wanted to, like I said, slow it down in the beginning, make sure um, we didn't get caught with anything stupid in the beginning, um, and then look to, to pick it up as the fight went on. And I felt comfortable on the way to that. Um, it's just, like I said, uh, Manny's adjustments were, were were flawless, and he's, he's a great fighter, you know. Um, it's just one of those things, it's, it's a learning experience. It's not gonna shake my confidence and my ability. Um, I'm, I'm still um, proud of, of my skills. I'm just very disappointed with the way the fight went. Bob, can you, uh, can you say what the next step is in regards to your attempts to making a Pacquiao Mayweather fight? Yeah, to answer the telephone. Simple as that. Uh, 
I think that fight should happen. I think the boxing fans deserve that fight. If boxing is, should, is con to be considered a major sport, the fight has to happen. All the nonsense has to cease. Everybody should be working together to make that fight happen. There's no excuses anymore, none. So I'll be at the phone. Manny will be at his phone. We're ready. You saw their Foot Locker commercial. He showed you how ready he is. He's going to fight me. He's going to fight me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's time for us to break now and to have uh, lunch. I want to thank, from the bottom of my heart, uh, Sands China, uh, the Venetian Macau, uh, Ed Tracy. Hey, Bob, can we ask one more? Yeah, sure. Manny, last year after you beat Brandon Rios, you were asked about fighting Mayweather and you didn't seem to want to talk about it. Now all of a sudden you want to talk about it a lot more. Just wonder what changed. Uh, deserve that fight. Um, I think uh, it's time to make that fight happen. But just in specific, in your demeanor, you know, you didn't want to call him out last year, and in, 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 in the past, you didn't want to call him out. Now you're doing that. You're calling for the fight. You're making a very vocal effort to get the fight made. What changed in your mind? Do you think you just need to try a different strategy? It's been a long time that I've, um, I'm, I want that fight, but, you know, I'm just the one, I think I'm just the one uh, talking, talking about that uh, fight, but the other camp, they're denying, denying, they're always denying to talk about that fight, so that's why it's better to, uh, to say uh, nothing. But now, right now, um, I, I think the fans is involved for this, uh, this uh, issue to fight with him. So I think the fight, it has to be happen because uh, the people, uh, the fans de uh, deserve that. M Manny, you obviously want it to happen, the fans want it to happen, but do you genuinely believe that it will happen now? Well, um, for me, I want that fight happen. It depends, you know. I uh, I don't have uh, um, I I don't have update. I'm not updated yet to you know to my promoter. It depends on my promoter. It's his job. My job is to prepare and to fight in the ring. Are, are you already mentally preparing for Mayweather? Freddie said that your thoughts are on that. It's been a long time. I'm. <laughs> I'm. Uh, and look, I, frankly, speaking for Manny, for myself, we're tired. Every place we go, they ask us, when is it going to happen? When is that fight going to be made? I mean, you cannot believe the number of times I'm questioned about this by just people, waiters, anybody, uh, who want to know one question, when is the fight going to happen? I say, enough is enough. Let's just make the fight happen. Let's get it done, and let's get it done. The next fight for each fighter, the, sometime in the first six months of next year. I'm, I'm. Now, we don't need any questions about it. That's our position, and we're going to do what we can to make it happen. I just want to, th again, thank uh, the Venetian Macau. I want to thank Ed Tracy, Scott Messenger. I mean, there's no place in the world that uh, does it better than the Venetian Macau that caters to the press, to the participants, to the fans. It's a pleasure for us at Top Rank to be associated uh, with uh, people like that. And I want to wish uh, my American uh, uh, compatriots a happy Thanksgiving. And further on down the line, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, to my African-American brothers, a glorious Kwanzaa, and to my Chinese friends, have a very lucky New Year. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, and um, I will say it again. Uh, I want to thank um, Algeria's uh, calm team, and also the, to all the fans, uh, media and press all over the world. Uh, thank you so much for all your support, and I want to thank God for everything that he gave us the victory today. And all the glory and honor is belong to G to Jesus, our Lord. Thank you so much for everything.